Hey you guys, it's MJ. Welcome back to Pet Adventures again. Today I have a special little friend. This is Brownie. <laughs> Say hi Brownie. He might be a bit scared. I mean, he's never been with like lights and all that stuff. But um, this is Brownie. He is a common brown mouse. He is my pet mouse that I own and the reason why he's here today is because we are going to talk about mouse care. I know that you're probably wondering, as most people wonder eventually about me, MJ, why do you keep just mice and rats? Why not hamsters? Well, the truth is I actually have kept a fair share of hamsters, uh, actually more than I have I think at least more than I have uh, with the mice and rats, but there is a story to that. Basically when I was a bit more of a beginner with animals, I started keeping hamsters and long story short, it didn't end up well. No matter what I seemed to do for the hamsters, I could not keep them alive, unfortunately. I had a total of about four hamsters, I believe. There was Geppetto, Peanut, Sweets, and Mallow, so yeah. But it did not end up well, no matter what I did, even towards the end of me keeping hamsters, I just could not keep them alive, so, you know, <laughs> you know, I, I started realizing that I started giving them the critter trails, which are not something that you should be keeping for any animal, but I'll get to that in a minute. But. I, I actually kept them in critter trails for a long time and that was my bad, I gave them bad food. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, mice will do this to you. <laughs> he might even poop in my hair, I would not be surprised. <laughs> even when I kept my, my last few hamsters in 20 gallon tanks, it just did not end up well. They still ended up dying. So I slowly, not on purpose, but I accidentally started getting onto mice and rats. And I started to realize that these creatures are very intelligent, which is not something that you get with hamsters. Um, they bond with you, which is not something you normally would get with a hamster. And they are just long-lived for the most part. They don't live long, but con considering my luck with hamsters, they live a lot longer. They're very hardy, and they can tolerate a lot of things. Not that they should but they can tolerate a lot of, uh, you know, illnesses, things like that, and uh, they're not as sensitive as a hamster would be. And I've just had really good luck with them. I've had Lucky for more than a year. I've had Brownie here for more than a year. Um, so, and, you know, the longest I had a hamster was about a year, but that, that's all. You know, she lived up to a year and that was it. And I loved her, her name was Sweets. She was my longest lived hamster. But I can't say, I'd be lying if I said I absolutely bonded with her, you know, so. Overall, I try to suggest mice and rats above hamsters for most people when they're going to get their first rodent type animal because you can only, you can only take so much heartbreak. You know, I, my heart was broken after how many hamsters I had lost and I didn't even get a year with any of them except for one. <laughs> um, I know. Um, yeah, he's like, what is that lipstick? <laughs> but um, yeah, and like I said, like these guys, they're basically, in a way, they're basically a tiny rat. Yeah, they're like a rat that stays small. So if you want something that's similar to a rat but you don't have the space, get a mouse. You get just about the same things. All that being said, if you can be okay with my blabber, <laughs> now let's get on to actual mouse care. Overall, mice do live about one to two years depending on how well you keep them. And so far I've had my brownie for more than a year, so mm, let's just hope he gets on to about, about two years. That'd be nice. I know you pooped on me. Yes, you did at some point. Mice are extremely friendly. It does take some time to earn their trust. You do have to remember that you are a giant to them and they are very small. So compared to a rat, the bonding isn't quite as easy, but like I said, definitely more easy than like a hamster. <laughs> Once you do get their trust, it is worth it. You will love every second of being with them. Just like rats, they will commit to you if you commit to them. Like you see here, you can actually kind of have them on your shoulder sometimes. Um, so that makes them really cool. Ow. Stop it! What are you doing? 
you're gonna get tangled in my hair. What I feed my mouse is exactly what I feed my rats, and excuse my rats, they're getting very, very excited as I hold this. But I feed my mouse the same exact thing. This does say mouse and young rat food, so you definitely can feed them the same thing. I usually always go with Oxbow brands, and they're really, really high quality. They have lots of great nutritional uh, things in them, nutritional ingredients, and I just would go overall with the Oxbow. Also for the caging, like I said before, previous in this video, you don't want to ever go with a critter trail for any animal. Not a dwarf hamster, not a mouse, and definitely not a Syrian hamster. Um, just because an animal is small does not mean that the critter trail is a decent uh, caging for them to live in. Um, it's definitely not enough space for any animal at all. What you don't, what you may not know about mice and hamsters is they love to run. <laughs> and the kind of wheel that you could put in a critter trail is not suitable for a mouse or, or any, any kind of animal at all that runs. Um, so definitely no critter trails, no small cages. I have brownie here in a 20 gallon tank, which is really perfect. It's actually really easy to clean. Um, you know, I just take all the, the ornaments out and all the toys, I scoop out all the bedding, I just spray it with my, my cleaner spray, and then I just put new bedding. What are you doing? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> um, and it, it's really, really easy. Also, tanks really help with smell. I've noticed um, he does get proper ventilation in his in his tank because um, he does have a mesh top. But you know that being said, it still holds a lot more smell than like a critter trail or a barred cage would. So that really helps. Also, just like rats and, and other rodents, you'll need a lot of. Uh, okay, I think he wants to go back in his cage now. So let me go put him back in his cage. Be right back. I mean, yeah, like I was saying, you know, the, the tanks are good with cleaning, they don't really have a lot of smell to them, um, so that really, really helps. Another thing is bedding. Um, I, right off the bat, like most people, I do not suggest any kind of pine or cedar bedding, and I also don't suggest aspen. Technically, from my research, a lot of people will say aspen is safe for most animals, um, and I mean, <laughs> I didn't use aspen for too long. I did use it when I first got my hamsters, but it was a very, very short time. I pretty much immediately switched to the Carefresh or just like the paper type beddings. Um, these are something, these kind of beddings are usually something I always use with the mice, the hamsters, gerbils, any kind of, any of that kind of, that kind of animal. Um, but I mean, honestly, like the aspen just doesn't hold it doesn't like lock in a lot of urine and poop smell. I mean, they are just wood chips after all, I think. Um, I, like I said, I, I didn't use it for too long, so all I know is it didn't like prevent any smells. So the, that's the only reason why I usually don't suggest it, and it's really ugly. Go figure. <laughs> but yeah, if I were you, it's a little bit more on the pricey side, but the Carefresh type beddings, or I think mine is like an off-brand Carefresh, but either way, it's like the paper type beddings don't really know if there's a difference. Maybe there's like slightly different ingredients, I don't know. But either way, as long as it looks like Carefresh and it's paper bedding, it's fine. I did say that mice and rats are quite similar, and they are, but not completely. Um, just like a rat, you will get intelligence, you will get bonding, um, they're very, very agile, so they love to just like bounce around and stuff like that. Um, but, I mean, the one difference that I noticed is rats cannot live off of any kind of bedding other than uh, the fleece. From my research and from my experience, um, any other kind of bedding that has any kind of dust is really, really harmful for them. They get their respiratory infection really fast. That goes for the rats, but as for the mice, you can actually use just the paper bedding and they're fine. And normally the paper bedding with like the rats could potentially cause uh, respiratory infection. I actually did use the paper bedding with my rats and they started sneezing a lot so I immediately got rid of it 
I never had that problem again just because I used the fleece. So that is the one difference between mice and rats. But like I said, basically the same. They even have a hairless tail, which most people are afraid of, but yeah. Just like most rodents, like rats and hamsters and gerbils, uh, a mouse has constantly growing teeth. I don't think that I actually covered that in my rat care series uh, video or whatever, but they have constantly growing teeth. So in order to keep their teeth at a good level, um, they need to be chewing on some kind of wood. And if you don't give them wood, believe it or not, they'll start chewing on any plastic items in the cage. So if you don't give them wood, they could potentially get out of their cage by chewing out of it if you, your cage has any kind of plastic. Like most of my, my uh, cage for my rats is metal, but at the very bottom of the tray there's like a plastic tray. But I don't have that problem because I have plenty of wooden little toys for them. You can get cheap stuff and you can get expensive stuff too. It really depends on what you want and also what the rodent may want. So if the mouse is kind of interested in toys that have like maybe like different types of little shapes or who knows, you know, the, the mouse will probably have a preference of what kind of toy it wants. What you just need to do is experiment. That's how I always did things. I just experimented with my hamsters and my mouse and my rat. Um, they'll pick what kind of wooden toy they like. So just experiment. You can start with the cheap ones and then slowly get up to the more expensive ones and see what kind of stuff they're into. But bottom line, always keep wooden toys in their cage and make sure that there's not a lot of urine on the, on the blocks or whatever, whatever you know, wooden toy you're using because that could potentially be harmful for them. Mice must always have hides in their cage. I cannot express how important this is. Mice are very, very, very scared creatures when it comes down to it. It, it really depends on how long you've had the mouse, but when Brownie first came here, he was devastated. You know, like he was devastated because he had no idea what was going on. You know, remember, we are giants to them, so it takes a lot for them to have to trust us. Um, so always take it slow, but they do need hides to feel safe and secure and without a hide, count on having an aggressive, scared, flighty uh, mouse. <laughs> they're they're going to bite you and they're going to get really fed up with you because they have no place to hide and it's going to drive them absolutely nuts. Now Brownie, if he ever gets really scared, he actually technically has three hides in his cage, um, but there's one hide he doesn't use. I have a strawberry hut for him and he never really uses it, he just likes to put a bunch of bedding in it. But he has one big hide and one small hide in there as well. And technically the water bottle he has actually has a built in hide in it as well. So he has plenty of hiding options which makes him more of a happy and free mouse. Again I have also heard that it's good to keep a mouse in tank caging because they actually have been known to chew out of their cages as well. And also, if your bar spacing is too wide, they could also get out of there. So that's another reason why you want to have tanks. A mouse can be in a 10 gallon tank, but I really would prefer a 20 gallon tank or bigger. That's what Brownie's in right now, and he is thriving in there. Um, so definitely suggested that you get a 20, 20 gallon tank or bigger. Also, as far as foods, I will leave a list, just like I did in my rat care uh, video, of the things that mice can eat. But every now and then, my rats and my mouse, I give them some veggies. Some typical veggies are just like carrots and kale, stuff like that. Never give them any uh, iceberg lettuce. It can give them some diarrhea here and there, so you want to stick away from that. Technically, it's not even good for us. It's basically shitty lettuce. <laughs> so on the veggie side, that's something you could do. I also heard that they like peanut butter. Um, I tried very, 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 very small amounts of peanut butter with Brownie and he absolutely loved it. If you want to get your mouse to start learning tricks, um, peanut butter is a good motivator for them. Um, if you do start training them, just make sure that the sessions are very, very, very short. Uh, keep it around like maybe three or four minutes or something like that. You don't want it too long because their attention span just whew, you know they're all over the place. So if you are, but you are, if you are wanting to train, um, just give them a tiny bit of peanut butter, either off your finger or off a little spoon. If you think that they might bite you, the the bite is very very painful. <laughs> I've been bit by brownie and I've been bit by my rats before. 
Um, not Oscar or Charlie really, but Lucky I have and it really hurts. So if you don't feel safe using your hands, like your finger for him to lick it off, just use a little baby spoon or something. As for the wheel that you are going to have in your cage, I would prefer that you get the biggest wheel possible. I technically have one of the mesh wheels, but a mesh wheel is technically like not good for any kind of rodent. Not a rat, not a mouse, not a hamster, not a gerbil, none. Um, because what happens is they can actually get bumblefoot from this, which is not good. Um, and bumblefoot is just... It's basically what it is. It's big bumbles on the, the feet of your, uh, your rodent. And their tails can get caught in there too. So what I actually do is uh, I just put duct tape on the outside and the inside. I've been doing that for a long time with my hamsters and mice, all of it, and it seems to work. Um, never had them ever try to take off the, uh, the duct tape and like swallow it or anything. Um, if you want, if you do use this method, just make sure you watch your rodent while they start running on it. But basically get the biggest wheel possible. I know it's a mouse, but I actually had some bad luck. I had uh, bad luck with the flying saucers, bad luck with, you know, regular mesh wheels um, without the duct tape and stuff. Your best option is just to get the biggest wheel you can. Um, you can get a silent spinner. Silent spinners are great. Just make sure that it's really big. And like I said, I know it's just a little mouse, but what happens is their back will arch if you give them a wheel that's too small for them and you definitely don't want that. And when I used to work in the pet store, by the way you guys, I did quit my job. Um, the pet store I used to work at, I totally quit it. I don't want to go into detail too much. Let me know if you guys do want to hear this topic a little bit more. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail, but basically my last job was terrible. My first job was pretty bad and then my second job was even worse. Um, there's a lot of psycho people working there. <laughs> And uh, basically, I just couldn't work there anymore, and I quit. But what happens is I'm trying to make YouTube my career. And by the way, you guys, my channel is escalating quite quickly. Um, I only just made this channel, I think, about like a month ago. And <laughs> I already have like 60-something subscribers. And I know that's not a lot. It's not like I have 1 million or anything, <laughs> like a million subscribers. but. Um, that's quite a lot for someone who just started a channel. So, thank you so much for the support. You guys have no idea how happy that makes me. And like I said, um, like I was saying, if I can make money off of YouTube and pretty much out of you guys finding enjoyment and knowledge off of everything that I talk about, um, you know, the more content I'm going to come out with, you know, the more I'll upload because it'd be great if this could just be like a living for me. Um, don't forget, you can always donate to me on Patreon. Um, and I'm going to eventually get it set up where you guys can donate right here on my YouTube channel as well. So be on the lookout for that. Um, you can donate a dollar, two dollars, whatever you want. If there's enough of you guys donating, it really doesn't matter. A little bit goes a long way. So if there's enough of you guys supporting me, it's going to pay off either way. And don't worry, I mean, there's going to be so much that I'm going to be doing for you guys so that you guys can stay entertained. I'll do more videos on things that you guys want to cover, whatever you want, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I've covered everything on mouse care. Sorry I do babble, I tend to do that. But I've covered basically everything on mouse care. If you guys have any questions, just leave me comments down below. Let me know if you got a mouse after this. And they're really great pets, you guys. Like I said, they're much better than like a hamster or gerbil would be. And I've had lots of hamsters. I love them to death. They're super cute. But like I said, I just couldn't take the heartbreak anymore. And I made the right choice by going to rats and mice because I bonded with all my rats and my mouse. And I mean, it's, it's a much easier care in some ways because they're so hardy. So, also something I didn't mention was uh, I wasn't able to take any of my hamsters to the vet because 
sometimes I wouldn't even see the death coming. They didn't show any symptoms until one morning I wake up and they're like dying. So, um, you know, with my rats, like, there's been a couple times, like, I took Lucky to the vet already before, so, you know, just letting you know if you're going for your first rodent, definitely pick a rat or, or a mouse. Also, one other thing that I forgot, which is really important, um, I do have a male mouse, meaning that he can't be with any other mice. He maybe could be with a female and they would just end up breeding, but overall it's not a good idea to put a buck with another buck. They will fight to the death and I've seen this time and time again. Um, Brownie actually came from a colony of bucks, of mostly of male mice and he was getting beat up pretty bad and that's actually when I ended up taking him. But that's kind of you know, a Meet My Pets series where I can talk about my individual experience with Brownie and how I acquired him and junk like that. <laughs> you cannot put a boy with another boy. Do not do that, ever. It's just bad news. Um, they say that you can put females together and they live quite well. I don't have any real experience with females, to be honest, but they say it's okay, so you could try it. Um, but always supervise and make sure everything's okay between the two girls before you just leave them in the cage and call it a day. <laughs> but definitely no males together. Ixnay on the bucks. Oh, and by the way, just in case any of you guys decide to troll, I just want to let you know that uh, I know that the area where Brownie was staying in was a bit messy. And just so you know, from time to time, I clean the area. Oh yeah. I don't leave it completely messy all the time. All right, I cleaned it. I cleaned the little area and there you have it. So shaboom, got nothing on me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you like this video. Also donate to me if you can on Patreon. I'd really enjoy that. And just keep watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.